a hospital overrun with patients, many of them having to be accommodated on gurneys. Sometimes there are so many patients they have to be lined up outside for lack of space. In Beijing, there are long queues outside this busy funeral home. With too many ceremonies on all at once, not all the mourners can go inside. At another funeral home in Shanghai, distraught families such as this woman's are given only 10 minutes to mourn their dead, as indicated on this notice board. Just a couple of weeks ago, it was 30 minutes. Not all the deaths are because of COVID, but there are telling signs from satellite pictures. The Washington Post reports that since early December, this crematorium near Beijing acquired a large car park ahead of an expected rise in deaths. How many COVID deaths have there really been in China? A British analysis organization has published its own estimation, and unsurprisingly, the figures are much higher than the official ones. We estimate that to today China is experiencing more than 20,000 daily deaths. And to date, in this first major wave of COVID, we estimate that more than 300,000 has died. Ineffective vaccines and a low collective immunity have contributed to a death toll that the Chinese government would prefer not to acknowledge.